What's going on, guys? Very nice to back again with another video. And today, well, Toronto fans, you've been waiting for it. Um, we've been doing a lot of teams lately. We're doing the Flames. You know, we did a, lot of, a bunch of teams last week, the weeks before, all that good stuff. Today, we're moving on to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, the Maple Leafs had arguably the best se best off season when it came to the defense. Um, we noticed last season, the season before, we've noticed in the past few seasons that the Toronto Maple Leafs defense is not the best that it could be. Um, thankfully, they got rid of a lot of guys. They got rid of Cody Ceci. They still have Marty Merchant on the team, but uh, we're going to ignore that. Um, yes, this team is a much better team defensively next season. You know, they got a solid third goaltender. They got some solid guys to play in the bottom six or the bottom or the bottom four. That's the point. The point is, their top two defenders, they're not even that bad. I think that their top two defenders are were really the only good guys. And then there was really just there was really just everyone else, to be honest. To be completely honest with you. So, you know, there it, when it comes to that, this is going to be a pretty stacked team next offseason. I mean, next season. Um, first off, what did they get on the offense that really improved this team? Well, first off, they didn't really pay too much attention on the offense, which isn't really that surprising, uh, you know. But they did get, um, you know, a first round pick. They acquired Rodion Amirov. I just thought I'd throw that in there real quick. You know, Rodion Amirov selected fifteenth overall. Great selection. I think it'll help out the um, the Maple Leafs as well. Um, they got Wayne Simmons, who is a very good physical guy. He even said it himself. He's like, yes, if these Toronto guys are getting pushed around by any team in the NHL, Simmons is going to be the guy that steps up to him because Toronto does get pushed around a lot. Um, I, and I can say that with, like, with, pr not with pride necessarily, but I can say that as a fact. They definitely get pushed around a lot. So, you know, Simmons will go out there and defend those guys. And then you got Joe Thornton, a solid veteran third, fourth line guy that can really help out. He can put up a, put up an upward of 20, you, you know, 20 points. This guy can do stuff. Uh, he got that, vet he just has that veteran presence. He, he's been with the San Jose Sharks for the longest time. And, you know, him going to the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's going to help out the Maple Leafs in their bottom six defense, which is something that, you know, they definitely need because we saw a lot of struggles with that over the past few seasons as well. Uh, moving on to what really improved is the defense. The defense, I think, that is going to be much better next season, although these guys aren't really necessarily the biggest names out, out there currently. I mean, there's still a Simi Watson, and someone's still going to go out there and get him. But, um, yeah, I don't know. But... They did get a lot of huge people. Um, they got TJ Brody. TJ Brody's the biggest one. Um, Brody with the Calgary Flames was probably one of those guys that was really, you could really argue, that was a part of Calgary's actual core. And with him going to Toronto, his defensive and his offensive defense is going gonna, is gonna to do well in Toronto. So unless if he turns out to be like Tyson Berry and just has a horrible season, who they got rid of too, by the way, um... I think that Brody's really going to have all that defense. Um, Zach Bogosian, which is like, I don't know why all my favorite players are going to Toronto. Like, Aaron Dell went to Toronto, Bogosian, Thornton, Simmons. Like, I like all those guys from past teams. And they're all going to Toronto, apparently. So, you know, Zach Bogosian, you know, he played in the playoffs with the Lightning. I thought he played really well. Um, you know, he's that guy that can play in the bottom pairing. Um, injury reserve kind of guy. He can. He's kind of the... The one person, you know, if someone gets injured on the defensive core, you know, Bogosian will come in and play. Um, he's one of those type of guys. Um, Miko Lettinen. Miko Lettinen. Um, when this guy was signed, I was like, okay, so there you go. Um, Lettinen. He is a very solid player in the KHL right now. Um, he was signed to a one-year extension. I'm pretty sure it was one year. Um, just, just only a few months ago. That's kind of shocking. It was only a, it was already a month ago, but you know, take that what you will. Um, it's going to be. He's gonna do well. Uh, I think he's a middle pairing guy. He's also kind of like Zach Bogosian, where if someone gets injured, you know, Letson can come in and step in and play that those minutes for the defenders. You know, he's he's one of those guys as well, but he can also put up points. Uh, we clearly saw that in the KHL. So yeah, I would be very excited as a, as a Toronto fan with Miko Letson and coming to your team. And finally, the final guy that I have here is Aaron Dell. Now, Aaron Dell, although he's not the biggest piece out of the four guys, out of the six guys altogether that I mentioned, 
Um, he is going to be that solid third goal center. I thought he played well in San Jose. He just did not have a good team in front of him. So that plays a role in this, definitely. Now, the problem is, though, when they signed Joe Thorin, they went over the cap. Now, there, there, are, there are questions of who they could trade. There is a buyout window, I think, for them. There is a guy that they can put on LTIR. I'm not exactly sure who they would put on that. But, um, you know. Um, Zach Hyman I had there. I mean, he has $2 million. I mean, he did decent this season. But, you know, I think that maybe Zach Hyman could be the one guy that's on his way out. If it were up to the fans, I would be saying William... They would be saying William Nylander or um, Morgan Riley because uh, they on paper, they look fine. But off paper, they're terrible. So, like, the weird, that's the weird thing is with, with those two guys. But I think that Hyman, out of any of these Toronto guys, could be the one that's potentially on his way out. So, yeah. That is the uh, 2020 offseason recap of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I guess you could say it's a recap. I mean, you know. Um, this team, I want to stand the cup with them in the franchise mode. Which, by the way, is starting literally, ne literally um, on f literally Friday... A week from Friday. So, you know, get ready for that. It's going to be a very exciting start to November. So, yeah. Thank you, for, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe button. Uh, thank you for the kind support. It's been a real lately. We're going to keep getting out of these content. We got a news time letter today, including a KHL one, too, which will come out um, likely bef likely in the morning, in late morning, like two hours. Like, hopefully two hours after this video comes out. Because there is some, there is a game today with one of the teams that I have involved in it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching and all the constant support, and I will see you guys in the next video.